They're sending me pictures of themselves with their wild hair, and I'm not going to, you know, cut it myself. Kath and Faith opened their inclusive salon in November 2019, gaining customers in a community, but just as soon as they opened, they were forced to close along with the rest of the state. <laughs> it's just amazing how everything happened so fast. Our last day open was March 11th. So that's a lot of months where you're accumulating bills but not bringing any money into to the shop. The salon on Clearwater Avenue is back open after being approved by the city of Kennewick. The business looks the same, but it feels different. Customers call for appointments, get their temperatures checked, answer symptom surveys, and then enter the salon. Our hairdressers will be wearing masks and face shields. Um, there can only be one person in the salon at once. There can't be anyone else. They're adding new styling stations, offering more space to customers, and the staff will look different as well. Because my immune system uh, is compromised, my doctor recommended that if I didn't go back with the high numbers in the Tri-Cities at this moment. We're so excited about uh, Rashika and Kimberly Stark. They are a part of our community. So anybody that walks through the door is going to be welcomed by everybody here. Being the only inclusive hair salon in the Tri-Cities, having a place that you know people can come and be comfortable, um, you know, that, that's a wonderful feeling. In Kennewick, Jameson Keefover for Cap KV, Local News.